Hello, 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 and welcome to Teacher Tidbits. I'm Lady Long, and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys something cool and new. So I was on Instagram, and I saw this cool math box. This lady whose name I'll leave in the description below created this one for addition. And so I started to play around, and I wanted to create one for simple subtraction. So here's what I came up with. So the first thing you're going to need is a box as well as some decorative paper to decorate that box and some paper towel rolls. You're going to need several different rolls and you'll cut them into various shapes. I also have here a smaller roll that I'm going to use at the top. This is actually from an aluminum foil roll and I'm using that because it's a lot more sturdier. I went ahead and I cut off different pieces of the paper towel rolls and you guys will see what that's for. So now that I have my box ready, I went ahead and put the subtraction sign as well as the equal sign on top. I cut out two holes on the top and one at the side. And I'm going to show you guys how I put this together. So first things first, you want to go ahead and take the paper towel roll that you've cut and made a simple ramp you're going to insert that in the middle hole. And then you're gonna take your two sturdier aluminum foil rolls and place them at the top. I also have here this piece that came with the box. I'm gonna be using that as a tray. You can make this yourself by simply cutting another box in half. You're gonna have some pom-poms or anything that can roll down, as well as your paper towel cutouts for your numbers. So for this subtraction box, it's a lot more interactive. Your child is going to simply take some bowls, just grab as many as they want, place them down the ramp, and then they're going to count how many came down. So I have here five. I go ahead and I take the five and I place it on top. You as the parent are gonna call out a number, three, or it could be two or anything. Have them count out three, and place it in the tube. That way they're gonna count how many is left in the tray. Once they have that number, they simply take it and place it inside. Easy as can be. I really love these math boxes because they're fun, they're creative, not just for the child, but also for the adult. And this really helps not only for your child to be engaged and hands-on, but as well as the parent to be hands-on and engaged in the activity as well. Now for the best part. After you and your little one are complete with your math activity, everything hides away nicely and neatly inside of the box. Well you guys, this is my quick video on how you can do a magic math box to get those little ones excited about addition and subtraction. Please go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. Leave us a comment down below if this video has inspired you in any way. Be sure to follow us on Facebook and Instagram and tag us in your math boxes for a feature on our page. This has been Teacher Tidbits. Happy learning!